Hey there you guys, we're here back at the Lakes of Legacy in Prosper, Texas. This is going to be the Conroe plan uh, from Shattuck Homes. So the elevation here is going to be elevation F, which is about $5,500 additional uh, to the main cost of the house. This one's going to be around $845,000 starting and about $3,500 square feet. It's going to have four bedrooms, three baths, but the way you see this one will probably have an additional bedroom and bath. So nice high ceilings with wooden stairs all the way through. Right here to the left is actually a little office area, uh, but right now the um, sales agent is taking that up. So right here off to our right, we do have our first little mud space area, and this is gonna be right off of the garage. That's nice built in. And then through here is going to be a full bath for everyone in the first story to use. I do like to mix and match tile sizes there. Shaker cabinets with the upgraded handles and faucet. Then you come into your first bedroom. That ceiling fan is going to be standard. Nice two big windows here for this bedroom. A couple of shattuck signs outside. Another view from the other side of the bedroom. As we come on out and kind of see the windows here in the front, another look at the office there. And then we'll go straight to this formal dining area. So I like how it's not fully like closed off from the rest of the house. You can actually like walk through uh, like this butler pantry area into the kitchen. I like these two big windows here. The wainscoting on the bottom half of the wall makes everything very, very interesting. I like the uses of color, like this one's like a black room and then, you know, opens back up to the white. I like the exposed shelving here. The quartz countertops. This green is super in right now. Very popular. I like this entry moment right there as well with like little dresser in the lamp. And as we come around, we'll open up into this very high ceilinged living space. I like the four windows up top, the four down bottom, and you have the ship lap for the fireplace that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Another in thing is these woven basket pendant lights that you see here. Not super practical because imagine how dusty they get uh, and then like dust doesn't really come off of like woven baskets. So just keep that in mind. I do like that um, natural wood vent hood there. Some nice white tile work there for the backsplash. We have Whirlpool appliances uh, that will be standard. You have the stainless steel sink. You have the matching Whirlpool dishwasher. I like that wagon wheel chandelier here in the living area. Again, I like how they took the ship lap all the way up. Here's a look on the outside. So I'm not gonna go outside in this one. There's no like fence or anything. Kind of small and it's really cold today. I like the built-in bookshelves here flanking the fireplace. But keep in mind, if you have a mantle like this, I mean, like the TV is gonna sit a little bit too high. So you might have to crane your neck a little bit to have a better viewing angle. Here's the laundry space. I like the more modern crown on those cabinets, just nice and flat. Shakers here. Some geometric patterns for the tile work. Take a look at this storage area inside the laundry. Very nice spacing here. I do like the utility sink. Usually that is also additional if you wanted to have a utility sink inside your laundry room. 
normally that's not there. You have to get like the plumbing and everything for it. All right, so I like these cathedral ceilings here in the master with the, uh, with the three windows there up top. That is a structural upgrade if you wanted to do something like that. I think it comes to be maybe five, like five to eight thousand dollars. And then right behind me, that box window that you saw with like the ledge, I believe that's also another upgrade for like maybe two to three thousand dollars. I like these hexagon black tile. I think people are afraid to go a little bit darker on the tile. Um, super cool for an accent, especially against the natural wood cabinets that are in here. And I like the black framed shower too. I know a lot of people go frameless and I like the use of that black, the black frame. And here you have a couple of like the brick options, um, good size. Good size primary closet here. This house can be built on 65 foot or 75 foot lots. Freestanding tub is I think another like $5,000 option. If not, it would be a framed out tub. Another, you know, use of this shiplap inside of this, uh, this primary bath as well. Good windows and lighting in here. You know, even the framed mirror there you saw is also an upgrade. Like every little thing you might see are gonna be upgrades at the design studio. Another look of all those windows here on the back side of the house. Very nice for all the natural light. Like everywhere we turn, there's a natural light coming through. Now up the stairs here, I do like how they carry on the wood. And then the wood here is actually a little different. It's gonna be black wood for the stair, for the staircase, instead of like that brown wood that you see here that I'll transition to. That's uh, here for the second story as well as the, the first story. So this is what it looks like up top. It's not like a big loft area that you see in some other places, but you have like a small catwalk that separates these two different sides. So we have your first bedroom upstairs. You have two windows up here, closet. And then you have that standard ceiling fan up there. I know it seems kind of out of place, right? The ceiling fans that come standard, um, you know, for a more modern looking house. You might wanna either upgrade that later on or do it from the builder. So this is why it comes standard. Do you see this uh, frameless mirror? The circular undermounted sinks are standard. The faucets also look standard here. These are gonna be up, upgraded tiles. I think for the most part, a lot of the fixtures that you'll see up here are gonna be standard. Another bedroom. And notice like all the windows on the front of the house have um, the muntins or like the gridding uh, for the design aspect of it when viewing the house like from the street, but all the other windows won't have um, that sort of design on it. I'll go ahead and go across the way here. Here's a view from the top down looking into the front foyer area. See who's coming over. Then we'll go ahead and enter in this next bathroom. So the white subway tile there, the standard light fixture in here, standard circular undermounted sink, shaker cabinets as well. And then we, we're here at this next bedroom. So again, with like this dual window set up, and then you have some design work here on the back wall, right behind the headboard. Good size room, nice size uh, height in the ceilings here as well. 
then we'll go out to the media. I believe this media room is an upgrade. I think it's pretty expensive. I think it's like maybe a $20,000 upgrade or a $30,000 upgrade to add this entire media space to the house. But it does add, you know, some living square footage, maybe 300 square feet or so, with this little, um, you know, like, writing desk area built in as well, uh, which is also going to be an upgrade with the exposed shelving. Yeah, so here we are in this media space that I think is maybe 20, 20 to 30,000. So good spacing here, carpet to dampen the noise. Yeah, very nice. So I think with all the upgrades and everything for this house, you're probably looking closer to around 1 million, even though it starts around 845. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the Shattuck home. You know, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs. And then if you loved it, please give me a sub. Thank you guys. And then of course, I'll kind of walk through just a little bit more, but I'll see you in the next one.